Good evening, and a very warm welcome to everybody here this evening. It just falls on me to say a few very introductory words, and I'm delighted to extend a warm welcome to everybody who has come to this evening. Firstly, I wish on behalf of St. Patrick's College Maynooth to remember this evening, on Tahar of Phoenicta, uh, who, in whose memory the concert will be performed this evening. And I wish to thank John, who, who so graciously proposed the idea that the concert this evening uh, be dedicated to Antahar of Phoenicta. The glory of the whole evening is the richness and range of what's been celebrated. Of Phoenicta texts and translations providing the foundations of the Orida corpus of church music, which in turn forms the basis of John's published study, The Masses of Sean and Pad Orida, Explorations in Vernacular Chant. Mila Mayogat, Ahar Milani, Luchteran Kalascha Fadrik Manud, Agasasan, Ela War, Ahartu Ruin and Tranona Shah, Aharja Narsanul and Chatlahila and Shah. It's a very unique occasion, and uh, you might wonder uh, what has gathered us all here this evening. In many cases, it's our um, love for music. Our Norum Dongelga, our Sim Saliturga, our Mass, Eran Gregorian Chant, our Givnia Chanul, Eran Olive Padrig O Fienata, Agus Ernoia, our Mass Moor, Eran Ober Eintach, Arin Shan Urieda, Awak Pader, Agus Kor Imrachach Hulea. Of course, what also gathers us here this evening is our friendship and admiration for Dr. John O'Keefe and uh, to acknowledge his amazing contribution that Father Milani has mentioned to liturgical music and chant in this country and beyond. Tranona Kelyurha Ata Ershul Ogin Kamoru Agus Gol Buehesh Agus Ismor and Privilege Do Ve Eg Kamoru in Enachtiev.
1973, which was my first year at St. Columns College in Derry, I was introduced almost simultaneously to the beauty of Gregorian chant and to the sacred music of Sean O'Reada. Now, as a 12-year-old, I didn't really appreciate our music teacher's insistence that in sacred music, the melody, however beautiful it is, must be the servant of the text. But that's a lesson that has really stood with me since. Uh, after all, in this case, the text is God's word. The text is prayer. And the role of the melody is to lift up our words to God in praise or petition. So whenever our school at school sang the verses to the Christmas introit, Puer Natus Est, I sincerely believed as a young boy that we were not performing, but we were praying. Cantate Domino Canticum Novum, sing a new song to the Lord. Likewise, when we sang, August mein to an there was that beautiful sense that we were praying and imploring God to, 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 to forgive us and to be with us. Speaking of new songs, we were proud at the time also to be singing the words of the Mass in our own language. Thanks to Sean O'Reada, we could now praise God in our mother tongue, as the Second Vatican Council had encouraged all God's people to do. O'Reada was already well known to us as young pupils in St. Columns because we used to love putting on Misha Era and turning the volume way up for those big cymbal clashes. Uh, we used to enjoy the quirkiness of hearing Roisin Du played on a French horn, uh, although I could master it on the trombone as well. But our teacher impressed on us, of course, though, that the greatest honor was to sing the prayers of the Mass in Irish words and melodies, which were every bit as beautiful and as haunting and mysterious as the Latin chants that had been passed down to us through the centuries. The delivery of words and melody, the compositioning of music and text, this is the book's main theme. Decisions taken by composers to ensure that vitally important words reach the listener in a coherent yet vividly convincing way. As the Irish phrase puts it, gach fuckle in a chillig hassef, every word standing proud like a rooster. Sean O'Reilly had that gift and we are very fortunate that he flourished at a critically important historical juncture and put it at the service of liturgical texts made available for the first time in the Irish language and that to the offices of none other than Padraig O'Fianacha, whom we remember tonight. But we are no less grateful for his son Padre O'Reilly's continuation of that tradition. As the book shows, the scale and richness of his output Psalms, antiphons, hymns, litanies, sequences, exalted as well as mass settings, puts him now, to say the very least, and this is putting it mildly, on equal standing with Sean in this area. He has another new psalm for tonight, further evidence of Michal O'Donin's assertion that this tradition is not simply looking back, but, as the book quotes, moving forward all the time, producing something new. Uh, 1967 is a long time ago. So here we are tonight, and we're going to do now the first piece that I set, which was Gomani Heard It. Um, and so it's in that kind of light that the stuff that I've been doing is slightly different, maybe, in structure, I don't know. John is the man to ask all those hard questions, too. Right, I'm sorry. 